All right, so uh, we're here to talk about uh, the next stage of your totem construction in this video. Um, and this video is really about uh, looking and working at our clay in the leather hard stage, okay? So clay, as you maybe have found out or that you know already as you've worked so far, uh, goes in a series of stages, right? And, and up until this point, you've been working in with clay that's just wet. So we would just call that wet clay. Some people call it plastic clay. Uh, it's very malleable. You can bend it, mold it, right? It's soft, right? Um, but we know that as clay uh, begins to set up, right, or dry out, the water is going to start to evaporate from your clay, and it's going to become more rigid and, and stiff. So the first kind of stage that we, we call uh, in that process is called the leather hard stage. And that's where this clay is at, right? Uh, it's definitely holding its form. There's still some moisture in it, right? I can still alter this a little bit, um, but it's definitely set up. It's, it's definitely more firm, okay? And so at this stage is really, an, a, really a great time uh, to do uh, a few different techniques, okay? So uh, one thing that I think this stage really uh, lends itself well to uh, is adding some texture to the clay that's different from this stamping that we did earlier okay so uh, if you'll remember when I was doing um, my carving or drawing into the really wet clay I didn't work so well the really wet clay is kind of mush right and it kind of uh, I don't know muddles your line uh, if we do some carving or drawing into the clay at leather hard it's gonna hold your line much better, right? So I can take my hoop tool at this point and I can do some nice, clean carve lines. Okay, I could also, let's see. do a lot of different textural components at this point. I like this look. It's kind of like uh, hatching, cross-hatching if you've, if you've taken a drawing course. Um, so again, this is a great time for uh, continuing to alter the surface if that's what you want. This is an, also an awesome time uh, for smoothing your surface. So uh, I like to just take a sponge that's wet, I squeeze out all the water. We don't want to add too much moisture back into the clay. Um, but here I can, I can just create some really nice, smooth uh, surfaces. If I have any like mistakes, maybe I bumped my clay or whatever, or if I have a drawing that I don't really like, I can smooth a lot of that out at this stage. It's nice because the clay hold it, holds its form. Um, I can still work with it though. And I can just create some super smooth surfaces, okay? Um, and so again, you'll, you'll hear me say this a lot uh, as you work with clay, but clay is all about levels of refinement. Okay, so as we're just starting to work with clay, I'm not really concerned with perfection in surfaces. Now when I get to the leather hard stage, now is where I start to clean up a lot of those things. And then when we move to the next stage, I'll show you even how to further refine your surfaces, okay? So leather hard is a great uh, time to really get, get that uh, closer look, right? Starting to go to that next level of detail, fine tune, uh, clean up a lot of your uh, surfaces, okay? Uh, the last thing I would have you do at leather hard, right? So I've, I've cleaned up all my surfaces. I feel good about that. Uh, uh, we have to create our central hole where our uh, support is going to go, okay? Uh, so two purposes. One, it's going to actually hold your totem pieces, right? But two, we have to let that air out. So remember in the last video, I talked about this being a big old air bubble. We couldn't put this in the kiln or else that would explode. And so we have to let that air out. This is going to do that by creating the central, uh, central uh, hole here, okay? So what I'm going to do for that is, is you'll have access to these wooden dowels. Um, so you'll, you'll have a guide for that. Um, but we're gonna use this as a guide to cut the, cut the shape here, okay? Now, the kind of tricky part about this is, is that um, we're gonna to have to cut the hole a little bit bigger than this wooden dowel, okay? Because what happens when clay dries, it's gonna to continue to shrink and shrink and shrink, right? Um, 
part of that is because the water is evaporated and clay is a lot of water uh, percentage wise so it's going to shrink down uh, and actually you know depending on what kind of clay you're using your clay could shrink anywhere up to 10 to 15 percent uh, so if you have a piece that's 10 centimeters while it's at leather hard after it comes out of the kiln it could be only nine or eight and a half right so it does shrink quite a bit and what we don't want to do is make the hole this perfect size it's gonna come out of the kiln that hole's gonna shrink and now I can't fit the dowel in there okay so when we cut this we're gonna make it a little bit bigger assuming that it's gonna shrink and so that after it's fired we can stick this in there no problem so this isn't too complicated I'm just gonna line this up right in the center okay and if I let's see just give this a little rocking motion I'm gonna create uh, a mark here where I can see where that dowel is gonna be. All right, uh, I'm gonna get out one of these banding wheel tools. This is really helpful, again, for this uh, technique. And I'm just gonna cut that out. And I can use a variety of cutting tools. Again, here's a needle tool uh, that will work really well. A knife tool is fine too. Okay, uh, you know, as we're cutting this and we're thinking about how much bigger to make this, I would say again, I'm gonna be a little more cautious, right? I would rather have it be a little bit too big than too small. So I'm gonna go out here and I'm actually gonna cut about a half centimeter bigger in all directions, at the minimum. I, I could even cut out here if I wanted to. Right, but I'm just gonna quickly sketch a line of about where I wanna go. Okay, place that back down. Now if again, if I just hold my needle tool still and this is in the center, it's gonna work its way around for me. I'm just gonna slowly go down. I don't need to cut it all at once. And just as I go around and around, I'm pushing the needle tool down just a little bit more. Okay, and here we go. I can take that clay out. Uh, sometimes if the clay falls in there, it's not a huge deal, don't worry about it. Try to avoid that if you can. Okay, and I'm just gonna clean this up, open it up a little bit. Again, I'd rather be overly cautious and make sure that, that this is gonna be big enough uh, after it's fired than, than have it be too small. All right, I'm gonna repeat the same step on the other side. Now, I can't turn mine over, I have a little fish, uh, so I'm gonna maybe have to do this one by hand. Okay, I can clean that up. Again, because this is leather hard, it's holding its shape really well. So I can use my fingers just to smooth that out. I could use my uh, wet sponge, create a nice smooth surface. If I wanna give a test here, let's see if it works. Yep, okay, we'll be good to go. And again, that's gonna shrink down uh, a little bit. Okay, there we go. Uh, now, that's leather hard work. Uh, this will continue to dry as we go, and I'll do uh, one last tutorial video uh, to when it gets to the next stage uh, that we would call bone dry.